the wildly popular Moms Don't Have Time to Read Books podcast. It's become the podcast for authors launching books. Zibby says she wanted authors to get the same attention that movie stars get. Her daily 30-minute show is a who's who of the New York Times bestseller list, and she's just published a Moms Don't Have Time to Quarantine anthology. She's been compared to Oprah and Reese Witherspoon for her influence in the book world, and here's how it all started. I had been writing all these parenting essays a couple of years ago, and my husband said to me one night, you know, you should really take all these parenting essays and make them into a book. And I was like, Ugh, moms don't have time to read books. So I had this title and I thought, well, I'll just make that the title of my book. But it turned out nobody thought that was funny. So I saved the title, threw it on the podcast I ended up starting. I used to think that way. Moms don't have time to read books. Deirdre taught me that is wrong. You make time. It's, you it's your me time. Yeah. And you need it. On this dime to ask how Zibby went from never having listened to a podcast to hosting a top rated podcast, how she's growing her moms don't have time brand to cover everything <laughs> from weight loss to grief to sex and learn Zibby's ultimate time hack to create space pursue your non-family related passions and goals. Just search Dying to Ask on your favorite podcast platform or look for the link on the KCRE3 app. You know